When I bought my first camera three years ago, I realized, in fact, I'd probably been a photographer my whole life, always looking for beauty in the world, searching for perspective and camera angles without even knowing I was doing it. What is a camera anyway, but just another kind of eye? Teaching myself to use a camera was about more than just understanding aperture, exposure, and film sensitivity. For me, it was about learning how to capture what I could see in my eye in a way that I could share with others. The dappled light, the sudden glint of the sun, and the flow of crystal waters, and the journeys that take me on those subtle discoveries. I always imagined I would photograph people, but I was drawn to the woods to walk and sit among the trees and watch the swirling of water. And so began my love affair with photographing the woodlands, the rivers and the light that brings everything to life. Because it's only in the darkest forests that you appreciate just how much we need the sun. And here, among the boulders and streams, the rivulets and lofty pines, here I am among friends, and never more focused than when I'm searching for some relic or monument of time. The cascading ferns on a fairy bridge, or the delicate dance of a waterfall as it gathers strength for its onward journey. And of course, then to come home and place my hands on the piano keyboard and remember what it felt like to run my fingers over warm, rough wood, crisp leaves, and through icy water. Because this is my freedom, in taking my time, in letting go. And living in the moment, just long enough to capture the light, so I can pass it on.